them shake them up things and start eating it. South Lexington Kentucky full crowd down the third base line. And they've got bottles, Gatorade bottles, and they're candying them. M&M's, I think. Red, white, and blue candy. M&M's. Here's Devin Hart. First pitch taken by Demi De La Cruz for strike one. And we're underway in this doubleheader. Devin Hart, the righty. Comes back with an off-speed pitch. Fouled out of play. And... Just like that, Sammy De La Cruz is fighting behind 0-2. Get here early. Hammond and Crown Point fan seats are filling up, and Honolulu fans are still here. And so are some Grand Forks, North Dakota fans. And I don't think they're going to leave after this game. I don't think so either. That third pitch just missed the outside corner, 1-2 and two the count. Outfielders playing deep. Here's an off-speed pitch. Missing up, up high. Two and two count. Infielders playing back for South Lexington, Kentucky. They know this Kingsbridge, New York team has power. Here's one hit to right center. Going back is Austin Blake. Runs it down in the alley for the first out. Nice play by Blake in right field. The fact that he's a left-hander helps a little bit, too, as he had his glove outstretched and landed right in it. That might have been a tougher play for a right-hander. Lefties do it best. I've heard that all week. Jamal Matanzas, the shortstop. A lot of power off the bat of Matanzas. One out, nobody on base. In the top of the first of a scoreless Matchup between South Lexington, Kentucky, and Kingsbridge, New York. We want to welcome all the listeners on the East Coast and down south in Kentucky, the Bluegrass State. First pitch is a strike. Hart mixing up his pitches. There's an off-speed pitch out of the zone. One and one count. Make it a two balls and one strike count. Looking out to left field, left center. There are the bleachers out there already. Fans filing in out there. 2-1 the pitch. Here's one hit to yellow center. Sliding play. Caught by Blake Foleyman center. Two good plays in the outfield so far for South Lexington. Right field, center field. Maybe the left fielder's up next. No pressure to Austin Jones, you're saying. That's what I'm saying. And here is the big bopper for Kingsbridge, New York. Three home runs for George Valera. Left-handed hitter against the right-handed pitching Devin Hart. Two outs, nobody on base for Kingsbridge, New York in the top of the first of this first semifinal matchup. Swings through a fastball from Devin Hart. Tim Bell, the host president for the Optimist Group, will be getting the radar gun out. He's got some other things to take care of right now, but he said, don't worry, Ryan, I'll be covered on some pitch speeds tonight. Here's an off-speed pitch, hit softly to second. Coming in is Cameron Travis, lobs it over to first base, out easily is George Valera. So a one, two, three innings pitch by Devin Hart. Ryan Walsh and Rick Moss was back in one minute with the bottom of the first. No score between Kingsbridge, New York and South Lexington, Kentucky on WJOB 1230. Quick, think of a major baseball team whose players love the game, never go on strike, and exhibit pure, unbridled passion on the field. That's probably hard to do unless you're talking Little League. And some of the best 12-year-old game love and non-striking passionate players in the country are coming to Hammond, Indiana, August 9th through 16th for the Cal Ripken 12U World Series. And Aurelio's Pizza will be there as the official pizza. 
Vito's Pharmacy has been serving Northwest Indiana for the last 24 years. In addition to our low-cost $4 generics, Vito specializes in compounding medications, durable medical equipment, and herbal supplements. Our medical equipment department can provide and bill your insurance for breast pumps, nebulizers, oxygen, walkers, wheelchairs, lift chairs, scooters, hospital beds, athletic braces, and more. Vito's Pharmacy is a true one-stop shop. Shop at one of our three locations, Hesville, 845-2900, Highland, 972-1700, and North Hammond. 937-1600 Beatles Pharmacy <laughs> 11 pitches for Devin Hart to get out of the top of the first thanks to our good friend Carlos Alvarado here at Optimus Sports Complex Good evening, I am Ryan Walsh joined by Rick Mazel South Lexington, Kentucky and Kingsbridge, New York fighting for the chance to play Hammond or Crown Point tomorrow night on WJLB at 7 o'clock for the 12 and under Calvin World Series title. Pitching for Kingsbridge, New York tonight is George Valera. Catcher is Gabriel Zambrana. First base is Patrick Dillon. Second base is Sammy De La Cruz. Shortstop is Jamal Latances. Third baseman is Alfredo Delgado. Left field, Harold Lee Abreu. Center fielder, Harry Segura Vargas. Right fielder, Arubio Candelario. Leading off will be Jared Gadd for South Lexington, Kentucky. The shortstop followed by the right fielder, Austin Blake. Gavin Hall, the third baseman. Cleaning up is Cameron Boffman at first. Fifth is Brendan Horde, the catcher. Sixth is Jacob Sam, the extra hitter. Seventh, Blake Pulliam in center. Eighth is Austin Jones in left field. Here's a bunt down the first base side and that's going to be fair and a leadoff single for Jared Gadd on the bunt. Tough play for the pitcher, George Valera to get over to. Yeah, because he's a left-hander and he fell off the mound the other way. And that was right on the first base line. Devin Hart, the number nine hitter and pitching for South Lexington, Kentucky and the tenth hitter is Cameron Travis, the second baseman. Good start to the bottom of the first for these hot South Lexington, Kentucky bats. Lefty Austin Blake. Hits one to the right side. It's going to be bobbled by the second baseman. Sammy De La Cruz standing at first is Austin Blake. And going to third on the air is Jared Gadd. And already South Lexington in business. Sammy De La Cruz let the ball play him instead of playing the ball. You just play to win the game, right? Yeah. Gavin Hall, third baseman. Got to reference our good friend Herm Edwards every once in a while. That's right. Gavin Hall has runners on first and third. Nobody out for South Lexington, Kentucky in the bottom of the first. Takes the first pitch high for a ball. one old count. George Valera winds up, throws a fastball, gets away, and halfway down the line was Gad. He goes back to third, but going to second, standing up is Austin Blake. So two runners in scoring position for South Lexington, Kentucky. Wild pitcher pass ball. Catcher got a glove on it, and again, that's going to be a pass ball. So, the number three hitter, Gavin Hall, ahead. Two balls and no strikes. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. Here's a wild one. Nobody advances because the ball came right back to the catcher, Gabriel Zambrana. Three balls and no strikes to Hall with Cameron Boffman on deck. Bottom of the first of a scoreless ball game. This is the semifinal matchup that many have been waiting for. South Lexington, Kentucky, and Kingsbridge, New York. Three and one count. Kingsbridge, New York, second in the National Division. And South Lexington, Kentucky, took first in the American Division. Here's a ball followed to the back screen. So Valera working his way back from 3-0 to make it a 3-2 and two count.
Three balls, two strikes. Big pitch here for George Valera. Runners on second and third. Here's a wild pitch ball for everybody stays. And the bases are loaded now. For Cameron Bopman. Has one home run in the tournament already. Nobody out here in the bottom of the first inning. Kingsbridge playing at normal depth, looking for the double play, conceding the run. Gad at third, Blake at second, Hall at first, first pitch. Max foul down the third base side near uh, Ty Robertson of uh, Duck Dynasty or Santa Claus, whichever you prefer. He'll go by either. As long as they keep on winning, he'll go by any nickname. All in one count to Boffman. Swings that Another fastball, fouls it down the third base side again. 0-2 count to Cameron Boffman. Umpire Ed Stribiak gives Valera a new baseball. Lights are coming on here at the ballpark, cloudy night. Sun trying to fight its way through the clouds, but I don't expect to see it very much tonight. Here is a strikeout as Boffman chases one out of the zone. The first out, big out for George Valera. At the plate, Brendan Hoard, a hard-hitting catcher for South Lexington, Kentucky. Two home runs here in this 2013 12-under Ripken World Series. First pitch right down the middle from George Valera for a strike. Bases loaded, jam for Valera. The head 0-1. Here's one hit softly to third base. Going to be a play at home. Out at home is Jared Gadd, the fielder's choice. 5-2 put out. Bases still loaded. And here comes the extra hitter, Jacob Stam. Nice play at third by Delgado. Charged that ball and... Got it to Zambrana for the force at home plate. Bottom of the first, scoreless game, base loaded for South Lexington, Kentucky. First pitch, foul tip by Stam. Oh, and one count. George Valera. Left-handed pitcher trying to get his team back to the dugout. Even. 0-1 pitch to Stam. Good catch by Gabriel Zambrano. That one was in the left-handed batter's box. Almost out of the left-handed batter's box. 1-1 count. Zambrano behind the plate is a change for Kingsbridge as Jamal Bennett. Stam. this Started behind the or started the tournament behind the plate. Stam late on the high fastball, one and two, and Valera one pitch away from getting out of the bases loaded jam and not giving up any runs. One two count and Stam hits one softly to short, taken by Jamal Matanza to tag second base, fielder's choice, and that's a big time inning for Kingsbridge, New York. They get out of the bases loaded jam, no runs allowed. And that ends the first inning with the score being Kingsbridge, New York, one. Just kidding. Just kidding on that one. Kingsbridge, New York, nothing. And South Lexington, Kentucky, zero. Great effort by both teams so far. Ryan Walsh and Rick Montles back in one minute with the top of the second. Giovanni's in Munster is a proud sponsor of the 2013 Cal Ripken World Series. Stop in after the game for delicious, expertly prepared pasta, veal, seafood, and steak. Giovanni's is located at 603 Ridge Road in Munster, just minutes from the Hammond Optimus Youth Sports Complex. See their ad in the program or check them out on the web, giosmunster.com. 
Railcats Baseball is back. This season's schedule is full of awesome giveaways, thrilling entertainment acts, and special themes. Tickets are only $5 to $10, and parking is always free. Save money with Railcats Weekly Specials. Kids eat free on Mondays, two for Tuesdays, Dollar Wednesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Firework Fridays, Souvenir Saturdays, and the Times Family Sundays. Group discounts are available for tickets, party decks, sweets, picnics, and more. Railcats Baseball, fun, affordable, family entertainment. Get your tickets at RailcatsBaseball.com or call 2 one 9882-2255 Railcats Baseball entertaining the region No score between Kingsbridge, New York and South Lexington, Kentucky on WJOB 1230 as we start the second inning Ryan Walsh and Rick Mossels on WJOB This is game number one of game Two, we have a doubleheader coming up at 8 o'clock. It'll be Hammond, Indiana, and uh, 2013 Cal Ripken World Series. Alfredo Delgado to lead it off for Kingsbridge, followed by Gabriel Zambrana and Harry Segura Vargas. Ryan, let's see if they take can gain any momentum after that fabulous performance by Valera pitching out of a no-out bases loaded jam. Righty versus righty matchup as Devin Hart's back on the mound for South Lexington, Kentucky. Quickly ahead, no balls and two strikes. And on the flip side of that, let's see if that takes the wind out of the sails of South Lexington or if they're going to battle back. It's going to be a couple defensive changes for Kingsbridge, New York in the bottom half of the inning. Here's a fastball outside. One and two count. One ball, two strikes, time called by Alfredo Delgado at the plate. Here's one hit on the bounce. One hop to Travis bobbles it, and he's going to have to eat it. E4. Looked like a routine play. Yeah, he just, he went to grab it out of his glove a little glove a little too quick there and bobbled it and dropped it. And Delgado was hustling down the line and beat it out. Gabriel Zambrana. As a runner on first, nobody out for Kingsbridge, New York in the top of the second one in a scoreless ball game. Zambrana swings through an off-speed pitch. 0-1 count. We welcome all the listeners from Kingsbridge, New York and South Lexington, Kentucky on WJOB and WJOB1230.com and Regionsports.com. South Lexington bringing a big crowd up. About a five hour drive up to Northwest Indiana. And for Kingsbridge, New York, about 750 miles. A little bit longer of a drive. Yeah, about six hours. One and one count. There's a strike. Slider from Hart. Count is run to one and two. Honolulu, Hawaii, the Saints, their fans are still here. They didn't drive, though. No. One-two pitch, and Sobrana takes one out of the zone. First strike out of the night for Devin Hart. That'll bring up the center fielder, Harry Sequeira Vargas. One out and a runner on first for Segura Vargas. The righty Devin Hart for South Lexington delivers the heater, and the heater is fouled off down the first base side. 0 and 1 count. Of 
scoreless game in the top of the second. Devin Hart from South Lexington. Here's one hit sharply. It's off the glove of the third baseman, and it's going to be a double for Harry Segura Vargas as it rolls all the way to the fence. Good job in left field by Austin Jones getting it back in and preventing a run from scoring. One out and a runner on second and a runner on third for Kingsbridge, New York. A Rubio Candelario comes to the plate. Kingsbridge, New York, after getting out of the jam in the bottom of the first, looking to strike first. Second and third. Here's a fastball low from Devin Hart. One zero count. Devin Hart change up outer part of the plate for a strike. One and one. On deck, the first baseman Patrick Dillon. Defensive swing and Candelario behind. One ball and two strikes. That was a defensive swing. Rubio Candelario behind. One ball and two strikes to Devin Hart. High heater chased by Candelario and he's down on strikes. At the plate, Patrick Dillon. Two outs and runners at second and third for Kingsbridge, New York. Brendan Hoare is the catcher for South Lexington, Kentucky. Goes out and talks to Devin Hart on the mound. More fans filing in for the second half of the doubleheader. The Hamden Optimus Bulldogs and the Crown Point Bulldogs. 8 o'clock first pitch. Right here on WJOB. First pitch, foul tip off the gear of Horde, the catcher. Dylan behind, 0-1. Two outs, two runners on here in the top of the second of a scoreless game. Again, thanks to Randy McCartney and John Leosis for taking care of us up here in the broadcast booth. Stats and great hospitality, great food all week long. 0-1 pitch to come. And here's an 0-2 count as the pitch was coming near Dylan and he still swung on it. 0-2 count. And now Evan Hart in the jam of his own is one pitch away from getting out of it. 0-2 pitch to come from Devin Hart. Just below the knees, ball one. Quickly back on the mound is Devin Hart. One, two, count. Stays at one and two as pitch was fouled off the back screen. I had that one. Yeah, but there's a net and a fence and some windows in front of you. I still had it. I'm sure they'll give it to you after the game. Honorary game ball to the broadcaster. Here's one. Hit down the right field line. This one's going to be trouble. And it's going to be off the glove of the second baseman. One run in. Two runs in. RBI single for Patrick Dillon. And it's 2 to nothing, Kingsbridge, New York. Both of those runs unearned. The first two runs come off the bat of Patrick Dillon. First baseman for Kingsbridge, New York. That might be the first time South Lexington trailed in the tournament. It is. At the plate now is Harold Leo Breu. Here's one popped up first base side in foul territory. Cameron Boffman makes the catch right in front of the Kingsbridge, New York dugout. Side retired, one stranded, two home. Through an inning and a half. It's Kingsbridge, New York, two. South Lexington, Kentucky, zero. Ryan Walsh, Rick Moxel, 
back in one minute on WJB 1230. The Times Media Company is your source for local news coverage. Staying up to date on community news isn't hard with our variety of print, mobile, and online platforms. Subscribe to the Times Surf NWI.com or download our mobile app today. The Northwest Indiana Times news you need any way you want. This is Pat Popa from Popa Heating and Cooling, where your comfort and a professional quality installation are our top priorities. Because we understand that when we install a new system for you, it's something you will live with for many years. A system you are likely to own at least three times longer than the car you are driving. Don't suffer through years of a poor installation. Call us today at 838-7700. Tax credits and rebates are still available. That's 838-7700. And remember, it's hard to stop a train. George Blair will pitch the second inning for Kingsbridge, New York. At the plate, leading off will be Blake Holm for South Lexington, Kentucky, trailing for the first time in the tournament after two runs in the bottom or the top of the second for Kingsbridge, New York. Ryan Walsh here with Rick Mossel. First pitch from George Valera outside for ball one. Two RBIs off the bat of Patrick Dillon to put Kingsbridge up first. George Valera quickly behind. Two balls and no strikes. The lefty on the mound winds up, and here's another wild one. Good stop by Gabriel Zambrana. Three and no count. Taking his time on the mound to get settled is Valera. Comes back with ball four. So Blake Pulliam, the center fielder for Southwestern Kentucky, leads off with a walk. Here's a foul ball by Austin Jones. The left fielder for South Lexington, Kentucky. Oh, and one count. Here's a strike. Go back to first. Back in time is Blake Pulliam. Defensive changes for Kingsbridge. The Rubio Candelaria goes to short. Sammy De La Cruz goes to right. Gabriel Zambrana goes to second. Here's a grounder to third. Great play by the sliding. Alfredo Delgado throws over to second. And a fielder's choice is made. And Jamal Benton says is behind the plate. Now the pitcher, Devin Hart, comes to the plate. First pitch, he chases one out of the zone for strike one. Two to nothing ball game. Kingsbridge, New York, leading South Lexington, Kentucky, trailing for the first time in the tournament. Fun attempt by Hart, follows it off the back screen. Quickly behind, no balls and two strikes. George Valero winds up. Here's one hit right to short. Picking that one up is a Rubio Candelaria. Turning the play at second, but the double play is not turned as Devin Hart is safe. Fielder's choice. And two outs for Cameron Travis. Right handed hitter for South Lexington, Kentucky. Runner on first, two outs, first pitch, foul ball off the dugout of 
Kingsbridge, New York. Strike one. Oh, one count. And Travis pulled by the off speed pitch way out in front. Oh, and two count. The pitch from Valera. Balled off. Soft foul ball. Travis looks down the third base line. It is manager Carl Peel. And here, Travis is down on strikes, chasing a high fastball. One stranded. We are through two innings. In the first semifinal of the 2013 Caribbean World Series in Hammond, Indiana, it is Kingsbridge, New York, two, and South Lexington, Kentucky, zero. Ryan Walsh, Rick Mouse was back in one minute with the third inning on WJOB. Elmwood Cemetery Memorial is a full-service monument company with great prices, exceptional merchandise, and two convenient locations. Elmwood Cemetery Memorials is the only monument company offering 24-hour, 7-day-a-week service, offering deliveries to all of the region and beyond. Find out. Call Mike at 219-844-7009 or visit elmwoodcaskets.com. Remember, with Elmwood Cemetery Memorials, you do have an option. Courtyard by Marriott Hammond, where 8094 meets Kennedy Avenue, located next to Cracker Barrel, is the host hotel to Babe Ruth Cal Ripken. Their new bistro, Eat, Drink, Connect, offers breakfast and dinner daily, along with a full bar and 24-hour Starbucks. When searching for that ideal location for your next meeting, up to 80 people, contact their sales team at 219-228-3064. Make it a new day at Courtyard by Marriott. <laughs> Of the third inning on WJOB between South Lexington, Kentucky and Kingsbridge, New York on Thursday night, August 15th of 2013 for the 2013 12 and under Caribbean World Series hosted by the city of Hammond and the Hammond Optimist Sports Group. Ryan Walsh and Rick Monsell. Top of the order for Kingsbridge, New York. Tammy De La Cruz, 0 for 1, flow to right. Robbed of a hit by the right fielder, Austin Blake. If you're in the Hammond, Indiana area, no excuse not to be here at the ballpark at 8 o'clock for Hammond and Crown Point. Winner plays the winner of Kingsbridge, New York, and South Lexington, Kentucky. First pitch is fouled over our heads into the netting, and it came back in front of us. Magical ball right there. Backspin on that was crazy. Ski ball. Devin Hart on the mound for the third for South Lexington, Kentucky. Here's a ball hit to right center. It's a long fly ball, and it's over the fence. Solo home run for Demi De La Cruz, and it's Kingsbridge, New York, three. South Lexington, Kentucky, zero. The 52nd homer of the tournament. That's more home runs than years on your life. No, it's not. I tried playing nice guy tonight, and it didn't work. Jamal Batances comes to the plate. First time trailing all tournament long, South Lexington, Kentucky, and the bats. are out for Kingsbridge, New York. And it looks like we have a pitching change. It's going to be Gavin Hall on the mound. So Gavin Hall will be on the mound. And uh, it appears that Deacon Thomas is going to go to left field for Austin Jones. Tall right-handed pitcher for South Lexington, Kentucky. Three nothing. Kingsbridge, New York. Winner plays Hammond or Crown Point tomorrow.
waiting patiently in the on deck circle is Jamal Batances. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. So Jones moves to third base. So Devin Hart is done. He's taken out. On the mound is Gavin Hall. And then third is Deacon Thomas. No, on third is Austin Jones. And then left field is Deacon Thomas. Thank you to Nicole Swart for helping us out with those changes. Jamal Batances, nobody out, nobody on base. One run in in the top of the third for Kingsbridge, New York. Here's a grounder to third. Great scoop by Deacon Thomas. Tough throw across. Gets Batances in a bang, bang play. That's an outfielder's arm right there. Austin Jones just came in to play third base and makes the catch. Throws the first out. George Valera, 0 for 1, grounded out in his only plate appearance. The righty, Gavin Hall, lefty, George Valera. 1 0 count. First pitch is outside for a ball. One zero count. Valera steps out, gets back in the batter's box. Pitch almost gets Valera's foot. Two balls, no strikes to Valera. Ninja-like reflexes, like our WJB sales manager Pratt Runwick. Exactly. Two and zero count in the top of the third. One run in. 3 to nothing, Kingsbridge, New York, in front of South Lexington, Kentucky. Here's a hard hit ball over the glove of the second baseman, Cameron Travis. This is going to get past the right fielder, Austin Blake. It's going to roll to the fence and going to second on a single and an air is George Valera. He ripped that ball. No, literally, he ripped that ball. Yes, he did. There's some uh, stitches that came off that one. That brings up the third baseman, Alfredo, Alfredo Delgado, reached down an air and scored his first time up. Three to one, or three to nothing here in the top of the third. Kingsbridge over South Lexington with one out, runner on second base. Alfredo Delgado, 0 for 1. First pitch is outside, 1 0 count. 0 for, 0 for 1 with the run scored. Wind calm right now. We've already seen one long ball. That's off the bat of Sammy De La Cruz. And for Sammy De La Cruz, that was his third home run of the tournament. Making a case to be on my all-tournament team ballot. 1-0 count. All jams. Delgado fouls it out of play down the first base side. One and one count. Still more fans coming in wearing royal blue and red. The Bulldogs battle at 8 o'clock. And the Optimus Bulldogs and the Crown Point Bulldogs. For the right to play Kingsbridge, New York or South Lexington, Kentucky. Off speed pitch. Good stop by Brendan Horde. Two and one is the count. Nice to see the Honolulu Saints are here. Team lost yesterday to Kingsbridge, New York. But still enjoying the beautiful Hammond, Indiana. Here's one right down the middle. Really surprised that Delgado did not offer that one. I think that fooled him. He was looking for something else, and that heater came right down the middle. I think he was looking for off speed. Two and two count. The pitch from Hall. Bounces to Horde. A good job again by Horde getting a piece of it. Kept it in eyesight. And standing at second base is George Valera. Full count to Alfredo Delgado. 
On the mound is Gavin Hall for South Lexington, Kentucky. In a pickle. Three and two count. Here's one roped foul down the third base side. Key third base, coach. One too many uh, donuts here up in the, the press box. There's probably like four dozen donuts up here. There were. Three and two count. Funds made an appearance. Good to see the sun in August. Is it August? It's August. Been overcast all day today. Dante Hall waiting on Alfredo Delgado. He's behind three balls and two strikes. Here's the fastball. This one is just foul. Good job by the third base umpire getting in position to make that call. Then getting out of the way. I believe that's Ron Orms at third base. Ron Orms has been around a long time. He's got panther-like reflexes. Not Ninja, though. No. That's Renwick. Full count again. Dante Hall on the mound for South Lexington, Kentucky. At the plate, Alfredo Delgado gets out of the batter's box. Three balls and two strikes. The pale pitch. Curveball outside. Walk to Alfredo Delgado. That'll bring up the second baseman. Gabriel Zimbrano struck out his first time up. Runners on first and second for Kingsbridge, New York. They are up three to nothing. In the top of the third inning in the first half of this doubleheader on WJLB tonight on Thursday, August 15th of 2013. Region Pools is proud to be a partner in bringing you the 2013 Cal Ripton World Series right here in Hammond, Indiana. Region Pools has been servicing swimming pools in Northwest Indiana since 1999. Take a break this fall and let Region Pools do the work for you. 1-0 and all count to Gabriel Zambrana. One out, runners on first and second. One and one count, fooled by the off-speed pitch is Gabriel Zambrana. On deck, Harry Segura Vargas. One out, two runners on here in the top of the third. Here's a foul ball out of play down the first base side. Dante Hall trying to get a double play to end the inning. Runners on first and second for Kingsbridge, New York. The pitch missing outside. Two balls and two strikes now. Count even two and two. Not fishing for the outside curveball is Zambrana. He's ahead, three balls and two strikes. Let's see if they send the runners in motion here. First and second. Infielders playing back for a double play ball. The payoff pitch from Dante Hall. Gets Zambrana late on the fastball. Out number two. And here comes Harry Segura Vargas. Doubled the left field his first time up and scored. Harry 
Dante Hall waits for Segura Vargas to get set. Three to nothing ball game, and now Segura Vargas steps out of the batter's box. Some mind games going on right here between Segura Vargas and Hall. Runners on first and second, two outs in the top of the third for Kingsbridge, New York. Segura Vargas steps out again. Hall getting frustrated on the mound. First pitch to come is a fastball. High fly ball. No doubt about it. It is over the wall, into the bushes, and left center. And just like that, the lead is doubled from three to nothing to six to nothing. Kingsbridge, New York. Everybody out of the dugout for Kingsbridge. The bats are hot on a cool night in August. At the plate, Rubio Candelario. The shortstop. 0-1 count. Two outs, nobody on base for Kingsbridge, New York. First pitch from Hall. Drops low. 53 home runs have been hit now in this tournament. Starting back on Friday, August 9th. One and oh count. Dante Hall and his catcher Brendan Hoare there with some issues here this inning. One and oh count. Here's a strike. One and one count to Rubio Candelario. Four runs in this inning for Kingsbridge, New York, all four coming via the long ball. Solo shot for Sammy De La Cruz and a three-run homer for Harry Zagir Vargas. Sweeping curveball outside for ball two. Two and one count. Here's a Ball hit to shallow right field. Coming in is Austin Blake to make the catch. Side retired after the damage has been done. Four runs in for Kingsbridge, New York. Through two and a half, it is Kingsbridge, New York. Six, South Lexington, Kentucky, zero. Ryan Waltz and Rick Mossel back in one minute on WJOB. Reason Pools is proud to be a partner in bringing you the 2013 Cal Ripton World Series right here in Hammond, Indiana. Region Pools has been servicing swimming pools in Northwest Indiana since 1999. Take a break this fall and let Region Pools do the work for you. With closing starting at $150, it's an affordable way to ensure your equipment is protected and your pool will be ready next spring. Give us a call at 219-852-0809 for more information and schedule Schedule your appointment today. Region Pools. MJ Polish Deli in Hammond has everything for your summer barbecue. Fresh and smoked sausages, sauerkraut, potato salads, kolachki, and of course, pierogi and stuffed cabbage. Live out of the region? Don't worry. Place your order online at mjpolishdeli.com. Stop by NJ Polish at 7112 Calumet Avenue or call 937-6007. For food like Grandma used to make, visit MJ Polish in Hammond, Indiana. You want some boom boom pow? We got your boom boom pow. Six to nothing. Kingsbridge, New York leads South Lexington, Kentucky as South Lexington comes to the plate in the bottom of inning number three. What's the top of the order? He is Rick Mossels, and I am Ryan Walsh. Doubleheader, semifinals in the 2013 Cal Ripken World Series. Kingsbridge, New York fighting for a chance to play tomorrow night against Hammond or Crown Point. They're up six, looking good right now. Hamden and Crown Point square off at 8 o'clock right here on WJOB. 
I'm seeing a lot more royal blue, and I'm seeing a lot more red filing into the ballpark right now for that 8 o'clock first pitch. Back on the mound is George Valera uh, for New York. And for the top of the lineup, it is Jared Gadd. Reached on a swinging bunt his first time up. Ball fouled out of play. One and one count. Outfield is playing pretty deep for Kingsbridge, New York. They know that this South Lexington team can put up a big crooked number in a hurry. Gad behind. One ball and two strikes. First time in the tournament, South Lexington, Kentucky has been behind, and they're down big. Gad chases one out of the zone. Strike three for the first out. It looks like George Valera on the mound is getting into a groove, Rick. Yes, he is. Austin Blake at the plate now for South Lexington, Kentucky. He seems very confident out there, Ryan. Lefty versus lefty matchup here. First pitch. Pops to the back screen for a foul ball. 0-1 count. Here's an inside strike called by the umpire. 0-2 count. Blake swings at a pitch inside. Quickly two outs for South Lexington. That brings up the pitcher, Gavin Hall. He walked his first time up. Four strikeouts now for Kingsbridge pitcher, George Valera. Against two walks. Righty at the plate, lefty on the mound. First pitch gets away. One and all count. Wind blowing out just a tad. It has died down quite a bit. One and one count. Here's a soft tapper to the third base side. Tough play for the catcher. Jamal Batances. It's Trubiak hustled up from behind the plate. Quickly called that one foul. Nice play, though, by Jamal Benson. Jamal still alive. One and two count. There's a timeout call by the umpire. Right as Valero is getting ready to put the leg up and getting a little brush out. Couldn't see the plate. Dante Hall. That's ball two. You think he's watching or listening? Who? Dante Hall from the Washington Redskins. He could be. Gavin Hall hits it to short. Easy play for a Rubio Candelario. Just checking your football knowledge. If you knew who Dante Hall is, then you do because you're a football guy ready for it coming up September 8th on WJOB NFL Dude. football. Here's a 6-3 put out, a 1-2-3 rating for South Lexington, Kentucky. We are halfway through with the score being South Lexington 0, Kingsbridge, New York 6. Back in two and a half minutes on WJOB with the fourth inning. Quick, think of a major baseball team whose players love the game, never go on strike, and exhibit pure, unbridled passion on the field. That's probably hard to do unless you're talking Little League. And some of the best 12-year-old game love and non-striking passion of players in the country are coming to Hammond, Indiana, August 9th through 16th for the Cal Ripken 12U World Series. And Aurelio's Pizza will be there as the official pizza. I heard about Green Power from Nipsco, where for around $2 a month, I could choose to have my electricity come from green energy sources. But I'm a skeptic, so I've strapped myself to one of these big windmills to see how much wind energy these things actually harness. And the story checks out. It's pretty breezy up here. No wonder it's so inexpensive. 
So it's okay, doubtful consumer. Visit nipsco.com slash green and sign up for green power. But in the meantime, getting a little dizzy up here. Could someone get me down, please? Okay, motion sickness is setting in. <laughs> Turning a little green myself, anyone? I mean, with green power, I am doing my part to support renewable energy, but I could use a little help up here. Nitsko does not support, condone, advocate, or encourage strapping yourself to windmills. Uh, anyone? Please? Recently, there's been a major push to buy local, and we couldn't agree more. Hi, I'm Taylor Micka from Micka Cabinets. Whether it's a single cabinet replacement to a full kitchen remodel, Micka Cabinets is there with your needs. So why pay more at a big box store? Micka Cabinets can provide you with better quality and price with the best experience. Celebrating 20 years, Micka Cabinets promotes buying local, our community, and the best service. We're open Monday through Friday and by appointment on evenings and weekends. So stop by our showroom at 8328 Kennedy Avenue in Highland or call us at 219 219- 9838-5450. Phil Youngy, 16 years at Corellis Roofing. Bruce Bailey, 28 years at Corellis Roofing. Joe Learman, 20 years at Corellis Roofing. This is Bob Pabst, 23 years at Corellis Roofing. George Corellis, 52 years at Corellis Roofing. We at Corellis Roofing are not only striving to be your roofer of choice, but also your employer of choice. Visit us on the web at www.corellisroofing.com. Set to begin on WJOB 1230, Ryan Walsh and Rick Mossel, Kingsbridge, New York, clawing their way to a 6 nothing lead over South Lexington, Kentucky. Back on the mound will be Gavin Hall for South Lexington, Kentucky, trying to prevent any more runs from scoring from Kingsbridge, New York. And for Kingsbridge, New York, Patrick Dillon, one for one with an RBI single, two RBI single. Coming up at 8 o'clock, it'll be Crown Point and Hammond. Bleaches are already starting to fill up, Rick. I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be a full house. No reason not to be here at 8 o'clock if you live in Lake County. The outfield bleachers are starting to fill up, too. Patrick Dillon leads off, followed by Harley Abreu, and in the hole is Sammy De La Cruz. Hall on the mound, winds up. First pitch is low for a ball. Dillon one for one with a two-run single in the third or second inning. One out count, nobody on base. Here's a pitch that backs Dillon up a little bit. Two balls and no strikes. Sun's still trying to fight its way through the clouds. See it here to the west, northwest a little bit. Here's a foul ball smacked over our heads. You almost had that one, Rick. Just over my outstretched hand. Two and one count to Patrick Dillon. Gavin Hall winds up. Throws a high fastball. Quickly behind three and one. Nice turnout from South Lexington, Kentucky fans. Not happy right now, though. They're down. Six runs. Here's one right at the knees. Called strike. As Dylan was getting ready to head down the first baseline. Yes, he was. In the unwritten baseball handbook. Don't, don't show up the umpire. The payoff pitch. Dylan swings at an inside pitch. Strike three for the first out. That's Gavin Hall's second strikeout. Brings up the left fielder. Harley Abreu fouled out. 
to the first baseman, Cameron Boffman, his first time up. One out, nobody on base for Abreu. There's a strike thrown from Hall. Quickly back. Set. Here's one that almost knocks Abreu down. Good job backing out of the zone. It's a one and one count. Ones are wild on top of the scoreboard. One ball, one strike, one out. Here's an excuse me swing by Abreu. Waved at a very nasty curveball. One ball, two strikes, one out here in the top of the fourth with Kingsbridge leading six to nothing. One two pitch. Here's a ball out of play down the first baseline. Actually carried on to the practice field behind us. Nobody over there warming up yet. The one two pitch. We'll do it again. Here's a ball that bounces to the backstop. Two and two count. I see some super fans for the Hamden Optimus Bulldogs. Blue face paint, blue. Wavy hair, uh, a blue visor on. That's, that's dedication. That's, I like it. It's going to be a lot of fun at 8 o'clock tonight. Yes, it will be. Here's ball three. Rumor has it super fans coming down from Whiting to the game. That could be. I was with him yesterday. He didn't say anything about it, though. He's always quiet about his plans. Yes, he is. Yeah. Stealth. Panther-like. Covert. Cheetah like. Here's an excuse me swing. Down is Abreu. That brings up Sammy De La Cruz. One for two with the run scored in an RBI and a home run to right center field his last time up. Two outs. Nobody on base for Kingsbridge, New York. Up six runs in the top of the fourth inning. Gavin Hall, curveball, outer part of the plate, painting the black right there. Strike one. Looking over across the street, there are kids already waiting by the river. Won the home run tonight. Here's a fastball that's away. One and one count. Even count, Gavin Hall, just above the strike zone. He's behind two and one to Sammy De La Cruz. One home run tonight. For De La Cruz. Here's one on the outer part of the strike zone. Two and two count. Oh, one strike away from ending the inning. Can he get it? Here's a curveball blooped into foul territory, first base side, over the Kingsbridge, New York dugout, right by our friends from Go Ham and TV. Thought Jake was going to reach out there and grab that one. One of his 32 cameras got in the way. He's up to 32 for tonight. Wait, nope, he just pulled out a little Polaroid. He's got 33 now. Okay. Don't forget his cell phone. 34. Here is a called strike, high strike. Down looking is Sammy De La Cruz. That's going to end the top of the fourth inning with Kingsbridge, New York up 6 to nothing over South Lexington, Kentucky. Ryan Walsh, Rick Massel back in one minute with the bottom of the fourth on WJLB 1230. Giovanni's in Munster is a proud sponsor of the 2013 Cal Ripken World Series. Stop in after the game for delicious, expertly prepared pasta, veal, seafood, and steak. Giovanni's is located at 603 Ridge Road in Munster, just minutes from the Hammond Optimus Youth Sports Complex. See their ad in the program or check them out on the web, giosmunster.com. Lisa, 
Did you hear the awesome news? What news? North Township dial -Ride is expanding its services. More vehicles, longer hours, and Lake County destinations that are outside the township. That is really exciting. How can I get more information? Give them a call, 932-2530, then follow the prompts and push number four. North Township dial -Ride, how may I help you? dial -Ride services and this message, sponsored by Frank J. Mervan, North Township trustee. WJB 1230 and semifinal number one at 8 o'clock will be semifinal number two, Crown Point and Hammond. But right here, it is South Lexington, Kentucky coming to the plate in the bottom of the fourth, down 6 to nothing to Kingsbridge, New York. If you're just joining us, some big bats coming out from Kingsbridge, New York. A solo shot for Sammy De La Cruz, a three-run homer for Harry Seguir Vargas, and a two-run single for Patrick Dillon. Going to have a change for Kingsbridge, New York. Get that to you in just a moment. Thank you to Nicole Swart helping us out again tonight here on Thursday, August 15th of 2013. Marcus Diaz is going to come in for Harold Leo Brayu. One on one count to Gavin Hall. Let's reset the defense for Kingsbridge. Pitching, George Valera. Catching is Jamal Matances. At first is Patrick Dillon. Second is Gabriel Zambrana. Short is Rubio Candelario. Third base is Alfredo Delgado. Left field is Marcus Diaz. Center fielder is Harry Seguir Vargas. And right field is Tammy De La Cruz. Three and one count to Cameron Boffman. The South Lexington faithful not giving up. Still got three more at bat. Here's the one that backs Boffman off the plate. Ball four. Third walk of the evening issued by George Valera. Brendan Horde. A runner on first, nobody out, takes first pitch strike from George Valera. Thank you to our producer tonight, Larry Kyleman, spinning the dials and keeping us on air back in the WJOB studio. Or quickly behind, 0-2, ball gets away. Standing up at second is Cameron Boffman. Turning point in the ball game, bottom of the first. Nobody out. Base loaded for South Lexington, Kentucky. Could not get any runs. And then coming out to the top of the second, two runs for Kingsbridge, New York. And they tacked on four more in the third. That's where we stand at. Six runs to nothing. Ford hits one to the right side. It's in fair territory. It's going to be a double and coming to the plate. A play... And safe at home is Cameron Boffman just getting ahead of the catcher. Jamal Batances, strong throw from the right fielder. Tammy De La Cruz. Single in, advancing on the throw, they'll say. So 6-1, to one and South Lexington is on the board for the first time tonight. And I think South Lexington caught a break because... Cameron Boffman was not running hard around third base. Brings up Jacob Stan, the extra hitter. 1-0 and count. Stan traces a high one. That was ball two. It's a 1-1 one and one count now. Here's one softly tapped up the third baseline. It's going to trickle foul. Actually kicked by the third baseman. Delgado, I guess he didn't want to pick it up. Decided to kick it to, the, to his counterpart's dugout. 
South Lexington dugout. So one and two count here to Jacob Stam. Nobody out and a runner on second. One swing, we cut this lead to half. They're down five runs. Here's a high fly ball out to your right field. Looking back on it is De La Cruz. Going to be a double for Sam. And going home from second is Brendan Horde. This was not over yet. South Lexington, Kentucky bringing the bats out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And nobody out for Blake Polium. Time out on the field as we have a visit from the dugout to the pitcher's mound, and he waves everybody off the mound except for the pitcher and catcher. Manager Alan Dillon out to talk to George Valera. Now batting for South Lexington, the center fielder, Blake Pulliam. He walked his first time up. They were chanting Big Red Rally. I, I, I'm still laughing at their, their yelling Big Red and their, their shirts say Big Red for South Lexington, Kentucky. I'm, I'm just having a ball with this one being an IU grad. Seeing the people from South Lexington, Kentucky, the heartland of Big Blue Nation, wearing some crimson. Okay, so we get a uh, pinch runner. It's going to be David Forrest running for Jacob Stam. Thanks again to Nicole Swart for helping us out here with that. George Valera just tossing the ball up, watching the pinch runner. Not sure what's going on here. George Valera throws it to the shortstop. Arubio, Candelario, the still chin, big red rally in there. Take, take around your candy, Rick. I don't know if you're going to be able to get any. It. It's going to be all mashed up by the time you get down there after the game. So nobody out. Two runs in. In the bottom of the fourth, first pitch is taken by Blake Pulliam for a strike. South Lexington, Kentucky, trying to rally here. Down four runs. Here's one to the backstop in Pulliam. Is quickly behind, no balls and two strikes. We again want to welcome our listeners from South Lexington, Kentucky, and Kingsbridge, New York, to Hammond, Indiana, here in semifinal number one on Thursday, August 15th, of 2013. Here's one over our heads. Rick, he almost had another one. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I almost got hit in the head by that one. 0-2 oh, count. Pulliam stays alive. Hits one down the third baseline. Foul. Just trying to catch up with all the changes. Animated South Lexington, Kentucky crowd. Just down four now. Here was a pitch from Valera, not missing by much. One and two count. So Pulliam still at the plate. Runner on second. Here's a ball hammered foul out of play down the first base line. It's going to go on to the practice field. So the count stays at one ball and two strikes. Six to two ball game. And there's strike three. Pulliam is down looking. One out. And here it comes to the plate for South Lexington. Austin Jones. Hit into a fielder's choice his first time up. Rolled to third base. Four run deficit for South Lexington, Kentucky. They've had a runner on second, which is one out in the bottom of the fourth. Trying to fight back to advance to Friday's championship game against Hammond or Crown Point. Two balls and no strikes. That one really Woke up Jones. Here's a pitch that almost gets away. Great. 
stopped by Jamal Butantz. Has had to reach across the body to make that catch in the left-handed batter's box. 3-0. and Count to Austin Jones. Here is ball four, and Austin Jones reaches on a four-fifth walk. At the plate will be Deacon Thomas. Big Red Rally, they're still chanting it. Meeting on the mound again. George Valera getting a pep talk from his infielders. Nobody warming up in the Kingsbridge bullpen as of yet. Runners on first and second, bottom of the fourth. South Lexington at the plate, down four runs. Thomas foul tips it into the glove with the catch of the Tances for strike one. This is Thomas's first plate appearance. He came in in the third inning. Here's one hit the middle over second base. And they're going to go station to station. A great. by Deacon Thomas and just like that Salt Lexington has the tying run coming to the plate Cameron Travis one swing ties this game up yes it does I see more kayaks out there across the street at the Little Cow River first pitch taken for a strike I don't know if those kayaks are out there for the home run balls or because Renwick's going to tightrope across the river. 0-1 count. Now it's a 1-1 count as the fastball from George Valera is high. On the flip side, a ground ball will end the rally and end the momentum for South Lexington, Kentucky. Travis swings through a low heater. Hammond fans filing in, Crown Point fans filing in. They're down along the fences, the first base side and third base side. And here's foul tip, strike three. Down is Travis. Back to the top of the lineup. Jared Gadd. 30 pitches in this inning for George Valera. And Jared Gadd, one for two. Comes to the plate. First pitch gets away, being sent. No, going back is Forrest. And everybody say that the rag would have been a easy play for Bertantis to tag out Forrest. George Valera coming a little bit unnerved in this inning. Two runs in, bases loaded for South Lexington, Kentucky. Two outs. Jared dead plate. Big swing. Fouls it out of play to the right side. One ball, one strike. Two out, bases loaded. Here's another one in the dirt. Good stop by Batances. He is getting his work in tonight. Two and one count to Jared Gadd. Three and one. Coming in down the third base line is manager Carl Peel for South Lexington, Kentucky. Three and one count. Jared Gad. He takes ball four, and it's now six to three on the RBI walk. Coming in is David Forrest. Meeting to, to come here on the mound for Kingsbridge, New York. As Austin Blake, the right fielder, 0 for 2, comes into the batter's box. Lefty versus lefty matchup. The lead has been cut into half by South Lexington, Kentucky. First pitcher is a grounder to second. It's going to be a tough play. A quick hop and a throw from Gabriel Zambrana to the shortstop. Rubio Candelero gets Kingsbridge, New York, out of the jam through four innings. Kingsbridge, New York. Six. 
South Lexington three. Ryan Walsh, Rick Mouse will back in one minute with the top of the fifth on WJLB 1230. The Times Media Company is your source for local news coverage. Staying up to date on community news isn't hard with our variety of print, mobile, and online platforms. Subscribe to the Times, surf nwi.com, or download our mobile app today. The Northwest Indiana Times, news you need any way you want. Now open, Luby's Pancake House, located at 176th and Torrance Avenue in Lansing, one block south of the interstate. Also open for dinner. Come dine with us. We feature a full breakfast menu, burgers, sandwiches, ribs, steaks, stir fries, dessert, and more. Open daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can also dine at Luby's in Hammond on the corner of 165th and Columbia in Menards Plaza. Luby's is the perfect spot for the whole family. All the chances will lead off for Kingsbridge, New York, in the top of the fifth inning on WJOB, a 6-3 to three ball game. Kingsbridge, New York, up by three runs over South Lexington, Kentucky. Good evening. It's Ryan Walsh and Rick Mossels on Thursday night, August 15th of 2013. Doubleheader for the semifinals of the 2013 Cal Ripken World Series hosted by the city of Hammond and the Optimus Sports Group. Beautiful facility. 1245 North River Drive. Seating still available, and I'm sure we're going to have those seats quickly being picked up later on tonight as Hammond and Crown Point play at 8 o'clock in the second half of the doubleheader. Jamal Patances will come into the batter's box against Hall of South Lexington, Kentucky. Patances 0 for 2. Flew out the center, grounded out the third. Three runs in for South Lexington in the bottom of the fourth, but they straightened the bases loaded. First pitch bounces to the catcher, Hort gets away. Ball one. Tance is waiting on Hall. Here's the windup. Here's another low fastball. 2 0 count. Wind. There is none. Flags are sitting. It depends when you look up at the flag. I'm staring at it. Nothing blowing right here. In center field. Here's one hip the middle. Going to be a tough play for the second baseman. He cannot reach it. And picked up by the center fielder, Blake Pulliam. Lead-off single for Jamal Patances. That brings up the pitcher, George Valera. One for two with the run scored. Lefty on the batter's box. All waiting for Valera to get set. Run around first. Nobody out. Off-speed pitch. Ball one. Valera takes ball two. It's a two and zero count. On deck, Alfredo Delgado. Two zero pitch. There is a strike on the inner part of the plate. Two and one to Valera. I see Tim Bell sneaking around here with the radar gun. See if he's going to snap us some notes. Now George Valera will step out of the batter's box. He's ready to go. Swings at an inside pitch. Here's one down the first base side. Going to third is Patances and staying at first is Valera with a single. At the plate, Alfredo Delgado. Nobody out for Kingsbridge, New York. Nice, 
sharply hit ball down the first base line. Just deluded the South Lexington first baseman Cameron Boffman. Justin Scott out to talk to Gavin Hall. Justin Scott, Jason Travis are the coaches for South Lexington, Kentucky, and the manager, Carl Peel. Chris Nazaro, Timmy Zambrana, and Alan Dillon are the trio of coaches for Kingsbridge, New York, with Alan Dillon being the manager. Long delay out here for South Lexington, Kentucky. Home plate umpire Ed Stribiak makes a visit to the mound to hurry things up. All right. Now we've got 10 players on the field. Then we've got a pitching change. So Deacon Thomas comes out in left field. Going back to left is Austin Jones. Gavin Hall is going to go back to third. Jared Gadd is going to come to the mound. And we're waiting to see who's going to be at shortstop. Right-handed pitcher Jared Gaz warming up for South Lexington, Kentucky. So Cameron Travis goes to short. And David Forrest will go to second base. A plethora of changes for South Lexington, Kentucky. They're down three runs and they're trying to keep it that way. Runners on first and third with nobody out. And coming to the plate is the cleanup hitter, Alfredo Delgado for Kingsbridge, New York. Here on the mound, Jared Gadd's going to tie his shoes, make sure they're snug. Going to have a pinch runner, and that's going to be Arhenis Batances running at first for George Valera. So the righty at the plate, Alfredo Delgado, two home runs here already in the World Series. Wait sign, Jared Gadd. Six to three ball game. Nobody out. Runners on first and third. Jared Gadd, first pitch. High fly ball out to right field. Going back to make the catches. Austin Blake is going to be an RBI sack fly. And going to second will be Arhenis Batanis. Seven to three. Kingsbridge, New York. Risky play at second by Patances, the pinch runner. At the plate, Gabriel Zambrano. 0 for 2, two strikeouts on the night. Jared Gadd winds up, fires a fastball low for ball one. Here's ball two, slider away. Hoard out, the catcher talking with yeah, and halfway between the mound and home plate. 
trying to keep this lead where it's at. Get some bats to the batter's box in the bottom of the fifth to get some runs back. 7-3 ball game in the first semifinal. Ball three from Jared Gadd. Kingsbridge, New York. Six outs away from advancing to the 2013 12 and under Kalskin World Series Championship. To face Hammond or Crown Point. 7 o'clock on WJB tomorrow night at 7. The way this game's going, six outs is a long time. Three and one. To Delgado. Here's a foul ball off the equipment of Brendan Horde. Tough kid. Full count now. Three and two count. You're dead. Poker face right here. Winds up. Here's an excuse me swing down on strikes to Zambrana as it was coming at him. Two outs and at the plate, Harry Segura Vargas. Big night for Segura Vargas. Two for two, a double and a run scored in his first appearance. And then a three run homer to left center. <clears throat> Has a runner on second base. Sweeping slider, strike one. Oh, one count goes to one and one. The low fastball. All right, second base is the pinch runner. Our Hennis, the chances. Two outs. Here's a slider hit to left field. Coming in, making the diving play is Austin Jones to save a run. And that retires the side. One run in for Kingsbridge, New York in the top of the fifth. 7-3 ball game. Kingsbridge, New York up four runs over South Lexington, Kentucky. Back in one minute with the bottom of the fifth inning on WJOB at 12-30. Courtyard by Marriott Hammond, where 8094 meets Kennedy Avenue, located next to Cracker Barrel, is the host hotel to Babe Ruth Cal Ripken. Their new bistro, Eat, Drink, Connect, offers breakfast and dinner daily, along with a full bar and 24-hour Starbucks. When searching for that ideal location for your next meeting, up to 80 people, contact their sales team at 219-228-3064. Make it a new day at Courtyard by Marriott. Join us at Freddy's Steakhouse for the Do It For Debbie fundraiser for our favorite waitress. Some of you may know her from Phil Schmidt's and John's Pizza and currently at Freddy's Steakhouse. All proceeds go to offset her cost of fighting cancer. For more information, call Freddy's Steakhouse 219-844-1500. This event is happening Saturday, August 17th at 6 p.m. Hi, Rich from Alsop Home and Nursery in St. John here to remind you to think outside the box store and shop at your locally owned Best of the Northwest Indiana Region Garden Center. Home and nursery, the best of every in Frankfurt on LaGrange Road in St. John on Route 41. See their weekly circular at allsipnursery.com. Live baseball on WJOB, bottom of the fifth between Kingsbridge, New York, and South Lexington, Kentucky. It's a 7 to 3 ball game with. Kingsbridge, New York, leading South Lexington, Kentucky. A big powwow on the field for Kingsbridge, New York. They're fielding. And it appears that somebody might have... Uh, I think somebody got hurt. Somebody took one to the face. Second baseman is the one that got a little roughed up in between innings. That would be Gabriel Zambrana. One took a funny hop, and he's hanging out there in the outfield now. Going to try to stay in the game. 7-3, to three, Kingsbridge, New York, leading 
South Lexington, Kentucky. Ryan Walsh, Rick Miles, is happy to be with you on Thursday night, August 15th of 2013. Coming up at 8 o'clock, it'll be Crown Point, Indiana, and Hammond, Indiana. The battle for Lake County bragging rights and a chance to play against Kingsbridge, New York, or South Lexington, Kentucky in the championship game tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Back on the mound is George Valera against Gavin Hall. First pitch misses for a ball and run away in the bottom of the fifth. Rick, I didn't win the 50-50. Darn it. You have to buy a ticket to win the 50-50, Ryan. Yeah, you're right. Even count as Hall fans in that pitch. Two and one. Valera over 80 pitches now on the night. If you bought a ticket, you would have a chance to win $193. Three and one. That'd be a lot, that'd buy a lot of hot dogs and apple pies. And pizza and beef sandwiches and corn on the cob. Some Strax and Aurelio's. And fruit cups. They got fruit cups down and there, fruit too. cups. Watermelon, cantaloupe. There's the ball hit to the right side. Two bounces to second baseman Gabriel Zambrana. Out is Hall after the throw to first. Here comes Cameron Boffman. I got to get to the gym tonight. Yeah, you do. My weightlifting schedule got disrupted this week. Got to get your curls in somehow, right? Yep. Late night or early morning. You can do it. Lefty versus lefty matchup. First pitch almost gets umpire in an unfamiliar position. He'd be familiar with it if it got him there. His voice would go a little bit higher. One and one count. One ball, one strike, one out. And in the bottom of the fifth, crown point. Fans styling in as well as Hammond fans for the nightcap at 8 o'clock. South Lexington, Kentucky down to the last five outs. Here's a pitch that hit Boffman's bat. Foul ball. Count remains. One ball, two strikes, one out. George Valera doing a nice job on the mound tonight. He's gotten in a couple of jams and he's gotten stuff out of them as well. Yes, he has. Here's a ball hit softly to the third base side. Coming in is Delgado. Throw across late. Nice slide effort by Patrick Dillon at first, but a single for Cameron Boffman. Here comes Brendan Horde for South Lexington, Kentucky. Their fans wanting to see a big red rally. First pitch is high and away. Ball one. one oh count. Ford swings through one right down the heart of the plate. He's going to want that one back. There's a buzz in the atmosphere here. More Hammond fans and Crown Point fans come in. Here's a grounder up the middle. Softly to second. He's going to try and tag Boffman. Gets Boffman. Knocks him down. Killer's choice. That brings up David Forrest, who entered the game in the fourth inning as a pinch runner and came around to score. This will be his first plate appearance. Now they're going to re-enter Jacob Stam. Okay. Two outs in the bottom of the fifth inning. South Lexington down four runs to the dealing George Valera of Kingsbridge, New York. Sam re-enters for Forrest. 
And thanks to Nicole Swart helping us out here in the broadcast booth. We've had a lot of help here. Also, our friend tonight is Carlos Alvarado. Two outs. Jacob Sam, the extra hitter at the plate. First pitch right down the heart of the plate for a strike. count. Make it a no and two as Sam is late on that fastball. George Valera waits for the pitch call. Here's a fastball that gets away and going to second is Horde standing up. One and two count. Blair, leg kick, the high fastball chased by Stam late. Inning over. One stranded for South Lexington, Kentucky. Through five innings. Kingsbridge, New York, seven. South Lexington, Kentucky, three. Ryan Walsh and Rick Moss will back in one minute with the top of inning number six in this first semifinal of two on WJOB tonight. Region Pools is proud to be a partner in bringing you the 2013 Cal Ripton World Series right here in Hammond, Indiana. Region Pools has been servicing swimming pools in Northwest Indiana since 1999. Take a break this fall and let Region Pools do the work for you. With closing starting at $150, it's an affordable way to ensure your equipment is protected and your pool will be ready next spring. Give us a call at 219-852-0809 for more information and schedule Schedule your appointment today. Region Pools. At Smith Chevrolet, we aren't satisfied until you find the Chevy vehicle you're searching for. Serving Hammond as well as the surrounding Chicagoland area, we offer a full inventory of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs at competitive, no-haggle pricing. Also available is the full service repair and body shop. So if you're looking for that new or used Chevy vehicle, stop by at 6405 Indianapolis Boulevard in Hammond. Call 219-845-4000 or go to smithchevyusa.com. Greetings from Hammond Optimus Sports Complex in Hammond, Indiana. Two games at WJOB tonight. We are through five innings in game number one. It is Kingsbridge, New York, seven. South Lexington, Kentucky, three. Ryan Walsh and Rick Mossel with you tonight. Coming up in the second half of the doubleheader, I'll have Mark Foray with me on the call for Crown Point, Indiana, and Hammond, Indiana. Welcome to all the listeners from New York and Kentucky. Back on the mound is Jared Gadd. He'll face off against Arubio Candelario. 0 for 2 tonight with a strikeout and a flyout. First base swing, and here's a high bounce to third. Great play by Hall to reel that one in. That's a web gem. Coming up next will be Patrick Dillon. One for two with a big two-run single in the second to put Kingbridge on the board. And they haven't looked back since. One out. Here comes the Hammond team filing in, led by Hammond Mayor Thomas M. McDermott, Jr., First pitch to Dillon right over the plate for a strike. Here's a grounder to third. Picked up again by Hall. Soft toss the first out is Dillon. I think Dillon was startled that he gloved that ball. It looked like it was destined for left field. <laughs> I gotta agree with you on that, Ryan. That's two great plays at third base by Hall. Two outs. 
Up in the broadcast booth is Hammond Mayor Tom Simon Turner Jr. Dropping off his lineups. He's busy tonight. He couldn't do the second game. Here's a grounder to Short. Going to be a tough play. And the second baseman, Tommy Krupp, ran in front of Cameron Travis. Safe at first is Marcus Diaz. Infield single. Top of the order, Timmy De La Cruz. One for three with a home run to right center field. Right over the WJB sign. Yes, it was. That's a good location. There's been a lot of home runs over there in that general direction. One out count to De La Cruz. Jared Gad. Here's a line shot caught by Hall at third. He made every out this inning. Gavin Hall, the hot corner, was smoking hot this inning. One stranded. Bottom of the sixth to come up. South Lexington down to their last three outs on the tournament. It's 7 3, Kingsbridge, New York over. South Lexington, Kentucky, Ryan Walsh and Rick Mossel back in one minute with the bottom of the sixth on WJOB 1230. Quick, think of a major baseball team whose players love the game, never go on strike, and exhibit pure, unbridled passion on the field. That's probably hard to do unless you're talking Little League. And some of the best 12-year-old game love and non-striking passion of players in the country are coming to Hammond, Indiana, August 9th through 16th for the Cal Ripken 12U World Series. And Aurelio's Pizza will be there as the official pizza. You have the right to fair housing. Were you refused a housing opportunity because of your race, age, sex, disability, religion, color, national origin, sexual orientation, or because you are pregnant or have children? If so, contact the Hammond Human Relations Commission at 219-853-6502 or email relations at gohammond.com. You can also log on to gohammond.com for more information. And don't forget, you have the right to fair housing. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Victor De La Cruz is going to come in for Marcus Diaz in left field. Thanks again to Nicole Fort. That's a change for Kingsbridge, New York. And back on the mound is George Valera. And he will face off against Blake Polium in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch is a strike. South Lexington, Kentucky, looking for a big red rally down by four in the semifinal. Down to their last three outs. Kingsbridge, New York, three outs away from advancing to the final tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on WJOB. 0-2 count. Pulling him quickly behind. Chase one out of the batter's box. And it was ball one. But it's a foul ball. Chief still available in the outfield. 1245 North River Drive. Get on out. Hammond and Crown Point at 8 o'clock. Here's ball one. A one and two count. On deck is Austin Jones for South Lexington, Kentucky. The one two pitch. Here is low. Two and two. Even count. Here's a high fly ball out to right field. Going back on it is Sammy De La Cruz. It's going to be off the wall. And Pulliam sinking three. He's going to slide. No, he's going to stand up with a leadoff triple. Good start to the inning for South Lexington, Kentucky. Down four runs. At the plate now will be Austin Jones. As the Rattlers come out and all the noisemakers for South Lexington, Kentucky. George Valera on the mound, the lefty. Fires ball one. He's got to be pushing 100 pitches, Ryan. 104. Here is ball two. 
Jones 0 for 1 with a walk. Runner on third. 73 ball game. This one back to Jones off the plate. 3 and 0 count. Timeout called by Small Potential behind home. Coming to the mound, and so is Gabriel Zambrana, the second baseman for Kingsbridge, New York. Up four runs, but this is a high octane offense for South Lexington, Kentucky. Well, this is the first game they've ever trailed in a tournament. Not a good game to trail. Here's ball one, or strike one, excuse me. Three and one count to Austin Jones. Three balls and a strike. And Jones swings through a heater. Full count. They all pitch to come. Here's a grounder to third, and they got a runner caught down the third base line, and, and Pulliam falls, and that's the first out, and no way. Rounding first was Austin Jones picked off on a bad base running play, a double play. And just like that, South Lexington, Kentucky is one out away from being eliminated. At the plate, waiting to see who this is. This is Deacon Thomas trying to keep it alive for South Lexington, Kentucky. Down four runs with just one out in the bottom of the sixth. Kingsbridge, New York fans on their feet. They're an out away from going to the final tomorrow night at 7 o'clock on WJLB. If you're driving around the region, get out to Hamden Optimus Sports Complex, 1245. North River Drive, 8 o'clock, first pitch for Hammond in Crown Point. Bulldogs battle. Here's one hit right back at the catcher. Bobbled. He recovers, throws the first. Valera fires the first. Out is Deacon Thomas. And Kingsbridge, New York is going on to the finals tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Winner, winner, Kingsbridge, New York, 7 to 3 is the final score. And the only game in the tournament that South Lexington, Kentucky loses the semifinal matchup against Kingsbridge, New York. An outstanding performance on the night for Kingsbridge, New York. George Valera, he got in trouble a couple times tonight, but he, he got out of it. A couple bases loaded jams that South Lexington, Kentucky could not convert runs. And for the offense of Kingsbridge, New York, a three-run homer from the bat of Harry Zagir Vargas. A solo home run from Jamie De La Cruz. Those two hits outdueled South Lexington, Kentucky. Rick Moss was just gathering the stats here in a moment. Let's thank a few people here for helping these broadcasts get on WJLB all tournament long. The 12 and under Republican World Series. One winner determined to make the finals tomorrow night, and that's Kings Bridge. New York. Thank you to WJLB owners, Jim and Alexis Vasquez Hilo, General Manager Debbie Wargo, Director of Operations Jen Forright, Production Manager Rick Kubik, Sales Manager Pat Runnick, and Webmaster Gene. Thanks to Region Sports Network, Chris Ramirez, Chris Lane, and Nathan Laird for allowing WJLB to use the online stream of Region Sports Network, and that is regionsportsradio.com. Rick Mouses with the stats. The final line. First of all, for the losing South Lexington team, Jared Gadd was 1 for 2, Austin Blake 0 for 3, Gavin Hall 0 for 2, Cameron Boffman 1 for 2 with the run scored, Brandon Horde 1 for 3 with the run scored and an RBI, Jacob Stram was one for three with an RBI and a double. David Forrest was 0 for 0 with the run scored. Blake Pulliam was 1 for 2 with the triple. Austin Jones 0 for 2. Devin Hart 0 for 1. 
Deacon Thomas, one for two. Cameron Travis, 0 for two. The pitching line, Devin Hart, through two innings, three hits, three runs. Only one was earned, walked none, and struck out two. Gavin Hall, two innings, four hits, four runs. All were earned, one walk and four Ks. Jared Gadd, two innings, one hit, no walks, no runs, and one strikeout. For the victorious Kingsbridge team, Sammy De La Cruz was one for four with the run, scored an RBI and a home run. Jamal Bentances was one for three with the run scored. George Valero was two for three with the run scored.